Hey guys, today we're going to be making some vegetarian gravy because it is almost Thanksgiving. I thought I'd give you some tips and some vegetarian uh, options for Thanksgiving. You guys always ask me, what the heck do vegetarians eat on Thanksgiving if you don't have turkey? Well, the beauty of Thanksgiving is that there is turkey, but there's also tons of sides, which are usually vegetarian or easily made vegetarian. We usually have a turkey there just because we have other friends and family members that eat meat. Uh, but we just chow down on all of the sides. So today I was going to teach you how to make vegetarian uh, gravy because uh, you can pour that on your mashed potatoes and your casseroles and all those types of things and uh, you don't have to feel left out when all the other meat eaters are eating their gravy. So it's really simple, all the ingredients are really simple uh, and it's going to be really quick to make so I'll show you right now how to do that. Start by heating two tablespoons of margarine in a saucepan. You can also use butter if you don't like margarine. Either way, it depends on if you want to make it a vegan gravy or a vegetarian gravy. Once the butter is melted down, you're going to add one medium diced onion. And you're going to saute that for about two minutes. Once the onions are nice and translucent, you can add two tablespoons of flour and one tablespoon of garlic salt. The recipe calls for one tablespoon, but I like my gravy a little bit less salty, so I'm going to use half a tablespoon of garlic salt. Stir that for a good five minutes. And then we're going to add one and a half cups of vegetable broth and two tablespoons of cornstarch. Do not confuse this with cornmeal, which I almost did. They do not do the same thing. Make sure you continue to stir the ingredients the whole time so it stays a nice consistency. Then you're going to bring everything to a boil, and once it starts boiling, bring it back down to a low heat so it can simmer. And then you can add two tablespoons of soy sauce. And then we're gonna leave it on low for about one minute. Gravy can be a lot of consistencies. I like my gravy a little bit thicker, but some people like it to be a little bit more watery. So if you do, just add a little bit more vegetable broth and mix it in until you have a nice consistency that you like. Once it's done, you can add it to whatever you want. I'm gonna put it on some mashed potatoes. My gravy is a little bit thicker than it normally is just because it's been sitting out and kind of cooled down at this point. But if you wanna make it a little bit more liquidy, you can just heat it up before you pour it on anything. All right, here we go. It smells really good. The whole house smells like Thanksgiving. It is so good. To be honest with you guys, before I turned the camera on, all my roommates came in here and tried it and they are all like devouring it. Um, I'm really happy with this. I'm not sure what real gravy is supposed to taste like, but this tastes delicious. Unfortunately, I'm missing Thanksgiving this year because I'll be flying to Australia. Um, hopefully I do some episodes of Food with Dottie while I'm there if I have time. Maybe we'll do some specials on Australian food. If you have any questions about this recipe, just ask me in the comment section below. Or if you have any suggestions for things that you cook next time, let me know. I love hearing your guys' ideas. And continue to Instagram me and tweet me pictures of what you guys make. I love seeing your versions of these recipes. Have a great holiday and I will see you guys in Australia.